Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to finally our 10th Lord through house series. And uh, as I said, today we're going to be doing 10th Lord in the first house. And what happens when the planet that controls your 10th house is in the first house? And obviously, if you do not know where your 10th Lord is placed and where your other planet replacements are, for that, check out the links here and check out my full astrological report, including my books, Astrology, Conjunction and Aspects of the Speed of Light. So. As I made a video on 10th Lord and what is 10th house, you need to please look at that link down below in the description section about 10th Lord through houses and career. It'll tell you what 10th house is, so I don't want to go over that again, okay? I'm going to do the short version of the 10th house. 10th house is your father, your reputation, your fame. It represents authority, your co-workers, your work environment, okay? So when 10th Lord goes into the first house, well, what is the first house? First house is your personality, yourself. It's your ego, your self-esteem. Everything related to you is the first house. And when 10th Lord goes into the first house, shows that your personality, your appearance is really shaped by the work that you do. Perhaps you're a corporate guy. You love dressing up in suits and you love wearing a tie. So even in your normal life, when you go out to eat, when you go to a bar, you always want to wear the coat and a tie and a shirt because that's what you want to do. You want to look professional because remember, 10th house is coming to you. It is influencing you. You get influenced by your work. You get influenced by authorities, by your coworkers. Your coworker says, dude, you don't look good in that beat up Toyota. I think you need a Mercedes Benz. So then what happens? You go get a Mercedes Benz because you want the approval of the 10th house in order for your appearance to be perfect. So these people are always dedicated to the workspace and what the workspace is asking for them. Shows that you will may also bring uh, work to you. You may bring work home. You may work in home and you may bring all your work that you do at home with displacement. Shows that uh, because 10th house represents your relationship with the father also, shows that your father really influenced your personality. It really influenced the way you, you know, want to appear to the world. Perhaps your father dressed like a professional guy who wears suits and everything. So you want to wear suits and you want to look like your father. And 10th house is government. Government is, uh, gets influ influences you. So whatever is happening in politics or government, you get influenced by that. Perhaps your favorite candidate didn't win. It'll influence your appearance and your personality. You will not be so jolly for the first five, six months for the, uh, that candidate is elected. Now, depending upon what planet is controlling, you know, the 10th house and goes into the first house, it'll differentiate these things. So let's discuss that. So let's see if sun controls your 10th house and goes into the first house. What this shows that this person is going to be a manipulator is this person is going to be very cunning and very smart at controlling people at his workspace. This person will get the kind of work where he would want to be a leader in. These per people are extremely attracted to government investigation of government things this person has a very karmic relationship with their father um, especially if sun is between 7 and 11 degrees you'll notice that this person was either abused by the father verbally or physically and what happens these people personality and their self-esteem really comes to play when they are winning the battle in their professional field when they are maneuvering their way to go to the top these people are extremely clever, cunning manipulators. You can, whatever you want to think of. They are that. They will never admit that, but they are that. And they know that. Okay? It doesn't matter what nakshatra it is. They are that. And this also shows that your father really influenced how you handle your workspace. Your father kind of told you, listen, son, or listen, daughter. When you work, don't let anybody talk shit to you. Don't let anybody do this to you. And you grasp that idea and you do not let them do that. So father is influencing your workspace. How you deal with your coworkers is now being uh, influenced. But you really get influenced by the government here. You really want to become the leader of the government because first house is you. Son is the leader. You want to become leader of that 10th house. Let's say moon controls your 10th house, goes under the first house, shows that your work environment will very be very creative. You'll be very diplomatic. 
uh, uh, regarding your work environment, you are going to be emotionally attached to your work environment. Your work environment is going to make, it's going to kind of like control your emotions. So whatever is happening at work will affect you throughout. You know how some people leave work and they just don't give a shit. I used to do that. If I clocked out, I'm done. You bring all that baggage to you. You bring all that emotional baggage to you. Yet at the same time, you're very diplomatic. You're able to have a very good relationship with your coworkers and and it is it, you're working with your coworkers and working with people at your workspace teaches you how to that to be diplomatic is the way to be. And these people can make great creative people, fashion designers, models. And uh, shows that the mother really all influenced the way you should be behaving at work. Your mother really brought the professionalism to you. She really made sure that, hey, when you go to work, do this, do that, be a hard worker, be this. Okay. And let's say if Mercury controls your 10th house, Mercury goes into the um, first house, shows that your environment of work will be extremely communicative where you will have to be looking at all the details because if you miss one detail, it can ruin your work environment. Here shows that siblings and your friends really influence the way you should be behaving in your workspace. You really got the lessons from your siblings and friends about how to be acting in workspace. It shows your work involves a lot of management. Your work involves a lot, uh, deals with a lot of uh, numbers. It also shows that your work uh, deals with a lot of communication. You are this kind of person who has to communicate with everybody. You cannot work in your environment without communication. Doesn't matter if you're a lawyer, actor, artist, astrologer. Communication must be there. You cannot just be silent and think that your work is going to be done. It's not going to be done. Okay, but extremely good placement for people to become CEOs and CFOs and really business minded people because here the 10th house is now ruled by the business planet M Mercury who's coming to you. So your intelligence is now being affected by the business world of Mercury. So you can do anything you want. You're like this natural entrepreneur. Let's say if Venus controls your 10th house, if Venus rules your 10th house and goes into the first house. Shows that you get influenced by a lot of females at your work. Your personality, your appearance is all dependent upon what the females at your workplace will think of you. And this shows that you get influenced by the female co-workers at your workplace. Your workspace, your work comes to you in a very creative manner. No matter even if you are a lawyer or a dentist, your work is coming to you in a very creative way. You have this love and compassion towards dealing with your co-workers. You want to be this dynamic personality at work. Like when you walk in, you want people to know what you're wearing. You want people to know how your hair is. You want people to know how your, you know, shoes are looking. You want to be out there like this, you know, want to be CEO, want to be Mr. Glamour or Miss Glamour. Like you, your appearance really want, needs to be appreciated at work more than anything else. You don't care if your siblings don't, don't say anything, your mother doesn't say anything, your even husband or wife doesn't say anything. But you must be appreciated from the people of the workplace and people that come into your professional life. And only then you will feel good and you will f your self-esteem and confidence will, will rise because that's what first house is. Now, let's say if Mars controls your 10th house, Mars goes into the first house, shows that you get frustrated with people at your work. You get into power struggle with people at your work and they kind of shape your personality. So you become this really hardcore, anger-filled person who has a very short fuse. And due to this fuse, you just want to take over, dict you become this dictator over your work. You want the work to come to you and you want them to beg to you to do the job they want you to do. Here Mars can either be really bitter and angry regarding the work that it gets or Mars will take the charge and become this general, this soldier, the strict soldier that nobody might want to work with. You will become this, you know, just this, this boot camp teacher and shows that the male colleagues at your work, your bosses at your work, really influenced how you act in your real life, how your appearance is. You are always on the go mode, on the hunt mode. 
you always are hunting at your work. So whether you're a model looking for work, you're always constantly hunting and you're always looking for that next prey. And the, especially women with these uh, places can become those really genius manipulator using their body for getting advancement at work. You see how this connection works. Let's say if Jupiter controls your 10th house, goes into the first house, shows that your wisdom, your religious views, your spiritual views are really shaped by your people at your work. Your work involves using a lot of intelligence, a lot of brain power. You are amongst very mature, wise people who are, who are highly intelligent, highly respected in their society. And because of them, you want to be respected. So you kind of become this person that I need to be respected like a guru, like a teacher. You want to become the advisor at work, no matter what the work is. Let's say if Saturn controls your 10th house and goes into the uh, first house. What this shows is that your work and your work environment will, will be filled with long hours, will be filled with a bit of a frustration. You'll be working with a lot of older people. You'll be working with a lot of people who are you know, not uh, willing to listen to you because they're very much um, confined to their own philosophy and their own religious views. And at the same time, Saturn makes you work really hard for your appearance. So if you want to be appreciated by the people at your work, you have to work tremendously hard. No matter even if you have the best suit, you have to have everything to the T. And you're very organized regarding your work, or your work actually makes you very organized, very disciplined, very structured in life. Your personality is all business. Your personality is all about, hey, what do we do this? What do we do this? What do we do this? Very scheduled kind of person. And, and your work will make you do very redundant things in your life. Okay? So guys, this was my analysis of 10th Lord in the first house. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below. And again, if you want to know where your 10th Lord is placed and where your other planetary placements are, for that, check out the links here and check out my books, Astrology, Conjunction and Aspects of the Speed of Light, including my full astrological report, which is also available on the website. Otherwise, I'm going to see you tomorrow with a very special video on remedies like Rudraksh and Yantra and what power do they hold? Otherwise, I'm going to go eat pizza now. Bye-bye.